Welcome back. This is two of three litters that we have currently just now. We have Sophie with her puppies and they are so adorable. So I'm going to just introduce them to you, let you guys see them, see how they're doing and we're going to talk a little bit about Sophie because there's something interesting happening with this girl. had seven puppies in her litter, all liver because we put her with Remington this time. Her last litter we had put her with Angus, so there's no black, they're all liver because two liver English Springer Spaniels most of the time, near enough, near enough 100% of the time, uh, will have all liver puppies um, unless they have another recessive gene that goes with it. Now there are variations with the Roan, there's liver and white and then there's tricolor. Uh, so there are a few variations in the color and there's a nice mixture of different things going on here with this litter as well and uh, they're all so, so cute. So I wanted to talk a little bit about Sophie herself. So Sophie, a uh, bit of background for her, she's a beautiful, <laughs> yes, yes. she's a beautiful, beautiful girl. So she's actually daughter of Lily and Hunter and Lily was our third uh, English Springer Spaniel female that we added to our lineup when we first started breeding. Lily has such a beautiful, beautiful demeanor and Sophie has inherited that from her. She has got a little bit of spunk that's kind of, which came from Hunter's side. She's definitely got Hunter's build, uh, the longer as far as looks goes. Here, sit down. Sit, sit. So she definitely has Hunter's stature with her longer nose and her longer body, but other than that, she's a lot, a lot. she's very much like Lily. Um, often I'll look out and I'll see her and she'll just remind me of Lily. So Lily was a very special girl to us, so it's nice to see her. I am a little, a little sad just now because this is going to be Sophie's last letter. After this, we are gonna be retiring Sophie as well. The reason why we retire our females when they reach a certain age, typically, um, Typically, it's to do with their age. You, you just don't want to overbreed them. A lot of people have different definitions of what it means to overbreed a dog. For us, it's we, we want to, we don't want to continue that into the rest of their life. Once they reach about five or six years old, it's a good time to then have them settle in a family, with a family and be just a pet and no longer breed. We want to obviously preserve what genetics are breed standard. We also want to preserve genetics that we find very appealing in a, in a dog. Um, but there comes a certain point where it's time for the dog to retire and no longer be bred. So with our situation, because we do have a lot of dogs here with breeding, it just wouldn't be fair to the dog and even to us to keep the dog here unless we feel that she would be it would be beneficial to her to be um, to stay here and not be rehomed. Um, then we would then keep the dog here at our place. So Jamie and I have discussed in the past if there was a dog that a certain dog that we would like to keep here 
Um, but most of the time we just find that it's better. We can keep our numbers lower and just have dogs here that are breeding. So that is why we do rehome them. It gives them the chance to be in a family that are going to be fully committed to them and dedicated to them. And it's not that we can't give them a good home. We do love and care for our dogs very, very much. But it just would allow them to have that one-on-one -on -one attention without so many other dogs having to compete for the attention. That way they're in a family, they're placed with someone who can give them that t attention and devotion that they truly deserve. So that's why we rehome them. We would love to keep them out. Believe me, I would love to keep every single one of my dogs, but it's just not realistic to have that many dogs. Even when you are breeding, sometimes you do exceed your limit on how many dogs you have. And recently we have found that maybe we've kind of exceeded our limit on how many we're comfortable keeping even at our place. So we have had some adjustments. Jamie and I have talk, done a lot of talking and made some adjustments on who's retiring and we also have a couple of females that we are moving to guardian homes as well just to allow us to decrease in our numbers another thing with that is that we want to increase in our Welsh in order to increase in our Welsh we have to decrease in the English and just balance it out a bit better so that's another reason too so we are going to be looking for a home for Sophie um, there's nothing set in stone just now there is uh, I think one one person that we have spoke to about taking her so she will move on at some point. Um, she will move on shortly after her litter goes home. We're not in any rush to move her on, but it's just at some point, this will probably, at some point after she has this litter, she will be going to her new home. Sophie has experienced that home life. She actually was in a guardian home previous to coming here full time. And um, she was one of our girls that we had found a guardian home for. And just with certain circumstances, unexpected circumstances with the family, they weren't able to keep her anymore. So we brought Sophie back here full time to keep as a breeder. And now that she's older and she's done, she's going to be going to her new home. So he has the ten eyebrows right there. He's also tricolor. So he's a cute boy. Yes, you are. We got Tyrone. So as he ages, all that tan will come through and the roan will come through on his face. And uh, that'll be some interesting colors coming out in his face. They're always gorgeous to watch progress. I always love watching a roan, even a trirone, because they get that light tan color right in the nose as well. And in the paws. And we got some, some just two color roans in there, and I think there's a liver and white female as well. So. Big solid puppies. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see Sophie's litter and getting to learn a little bit about Soph and um, our plans with her. And uh, we got one more video coming and that's Aria with her babies. And that's an interesting letter too, so you don't want to miss it. Stay tuned for that one. We'll see you in the next one.